All right, y'all, I wasn't gonna record, but I've been talking to you. And I got a cocktail, which I hadn't had anything to drink yet, but I want y'all to look at this little cute fleur-de-lis at the top. So, St. Landry's sidecar, let's see. Really good. Pretty good. That foam, that uh, egg white foam. I can actually, you know, not have it, but it's fine. All right, it is oyster time. Let's see. <coughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna use my um, my hot hands. I'm just going to pick it up. They said it's hot, but you know, I don't feel like. All right. Oh, it's not as hot as I thought it was. So, anybody want some? You know, put a little bit of um, lemon on it. Let's get into it. Mm. Mm. It's really good. And they use, well, it seems like they use cornbread, but I don't know, but it, that's good. <laughs> she see this big fat oyster. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm guessing you gotta cut it because there's no way. But it was good. The, the crab meat on top and the shrimp or whatever was really good. I don't know what this video is gonna be like, but um, we had, well, I had the St. Landry's sidecar. We had the oysters, which I forgot what they was called, hearth roasted oysters. And now we're trying the quail with the Tabasco honey and the Brussels sprouts and it looks so good. We ain't been disappointed yet, so. Well, we're not gonna get disappointed. It's gonna be all good, so. Y'all, Eunice, right now, yummy. And I wasn't gonna... Oh my God, some can't make up. But anyway, <laughs> y'all, cornbread, Eunice, the bomb so I was going to choose me a drink but then I told the lady to surprise me she said she had like four drinks that were really good so she decided to send me bring me the the floor it's really cute here it goes so we're gonna try it and I'm not a gin drinker so this is really really um out of my element so let's see what it tastes like I feel like I'm channeling my Aunt Linda on this one. I don't taste the gin, but it tastes really smooth and really, really good. I don't know what kind of gin it is. It ain't. I don't know if it's Tanqueray, but um, it's really smooth. It's really good, and it's not sweet. Time for the bread pudding. Are they Mmm. I can taste some of the tartness of the. It's good, but. Ready for that gumbo? I taste some of the sour. Now, y'all, I usually don't order, but I never order gumbo. But since we came here and I've seen a lot of people order it, I was like, you know what? Let me try this gumbo. And you know what? They serve it with potato salad like I eat it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna taste the roux first. Not bad, it's not giving me. <laughs> the video by saying, um, Eunice was really tasty. There was a couple of things that I probably wouldn't order the next time, like the quail and the bread pudding. Um, but overall, you know, 
It was good. Everything else was really good. I like. I love my favorite was the Brussels sprouts. And cornbread was good. You know, and surprisingly, I never... I just was like, I usually have gumbo and potato salad. And I saw that they make um, gumbo and potato salad. I never ordered gumbo out because it's just not mine. But theirs was surprisingly... Um, Decent. It was actually, you know, if somebody who doesn't know how to make it or that maybe not their first time having gumbo or they just had somebody's nasty as gumbo, you know, they would have enjoyed it. So, two thumbs up for units. Um, and I definitely will go back again. <laughs> Thank you.